we have date, employee, and amount. And we need to conditionally format the row when the employee is listed on the same day two or more times. So this row should not get formatting. But this one should, because Chantel is listed more than one time for this particular date. Now, we definitely want to use conditional formatting, but none of the built-in features will work. So we have to build a formula. Anytime we do that, it's helpful to build the formula in the worksheet, check to see if the trues and falses are working, then copy and paste the formula up into the conditional formatting dialog box. Now, this is about counting when something happens more than one time. So we'll use count ifs, criteria range 1 where we're looking through dates, F4, comma, this formula is going to be copied down and over inside that conditional formatting dialog box. So I select date. I need it locked just for the row, but when we copy it down, it needs to move. So I hit F4 one, two, three times. I'm locking the column, but not the row, comma. We have two conditions that need to be run in an AND logical test. So we enter the second column, F4, comma. And now we're going to count date and employee, F4, one, two, three times. That way, this will count, Control-Enter, copy it over and down. This is simulating what the conditional formatting dialog box will do automatically. So there it is. There's a pattern, two, two, two means that row should be formatted. In the top cell, F2, really the test is, hey, are you greater than 1? Control-Enter, copy it over and down. And sure enough, the patterns of trues and falses, these trues will apply the formatting. So we copy the upper left formula in edit mode, Control-C, Escape. Because this was the upper left, I highlight the upper left. That's the active cell. Now I go to conditional formatting. New rule. Use a formula. Format values where this formula is true. Control V. I'm going to add yellow. Click OK. Click OK. And bam, we are done. If I change this to a different date, that conditional formatting is working like a charm. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.